Have you ever watched a super long programming tutorial only to have the script not work at the end? You probably have, and if you haven't, you've probably had some errors in your code, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to fix the common mistakes that I see all the time. Now, if you can't figure out how to fix your code, join the Discord that I've linked in the description, and we can definitely help you out. We've just recently reached over 300 members, and there are a lot of great people that are willing to take the time to help you learn. I'm going to cover four different types of mistakes, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the best way to ask a question in the Discord if you can't figure out what's going wrong. The first one to talk about is ignoring syntax errors and warnings. So at the top right here, we have a red underline, and then down here, we have an orange underline. The top is a syntax error, and the down here in the orange, this is a warning. At the top, if we put our mouse over the red line, you can see it says syntax error, incomplete statement, expected assignment, or a function call. If you're not a regular programmer, you might not know what this means. This means that we should be assigning this to something, such as this, assigning it to nil, or creating a variable here, you know, local foo equals game.workspace.cybercreator. So those are two examples of assignments, We're either assigning foo equal to game.workspace.cybercreator, or we were assigning the workspace.cybercreator to nil. So the other case that it said is that it expects a function call. So if this was a function, you add the parentheses and you're calling this, this is not a function, so this would actually not work. But that's what the other one means. It's uh, expected a function. So if you just type something like print, this is a syntax error because it expects the function call. So this would be valid. So that's the, uh, the other case. The first ones were the assignments. There's a few warnings that I'll cover. So here, actually I accidentally fixed this one. So before, true, like this, we have W001 unknown global true. What this means is that there's some unknown global right here and our function, which is true. You might be wondering, why is that the case? Well, it should be true, all right? So a lot of times, a lot of times I see people just say, you know, my code's not working, I don't know why. Well, if you scroll over, you should see that there's a warning that there's an unknown global true, so we don't know what true is supposed to be. If you want a further explanation of what all these warnings mean, be sure to check out this page that I've linked in the description which describes all of the warnings that you might encounter. For example, the warning that we're encountering right now is warning number one, unknown global name. So here's an example of it. They create a variable display name equal to Roblox. They try to print it and then they get this warning. You've probably encountered this before where you think you've created some variable, but then you try to use it and you get unknown global variable name. And in this case, the reason that they're getting that is because they have a typo, they forgot the Y, so they have display name instead of display name. So if you can't figure out a warning, be sure to check out this page and it should describe it in good detail. If you don't understand it even still, that's when you should go reach out in the Discord, tell everyone what warning you're getting, what section of the code you're getting it in, and then we can definitely help you out from there. Another thing that I see all the time is that people have issues with spelling errors and spacing. So here I'm setting a variable called tree equal to workspace.pine space tree. And in the workspace, I have a model called pine space tree. As you can see in the Explorer, there's a space. The reason you can't do this is that the dot operator, this period right here, does not work with variables with a space in the name or the name of a part uh, with a space. So instead of this, what you have to do is change the dot to a bracket with quotation marks as well, actually. So you can do workspace and then brackets and quotations pine space tree, but you can't do the dot pine space tree. You have to use this for any model or part name, any object name with a space in it. The other thing that you could do is just change the name of the model so it doesn't have the space and then you don't need to use the brackets, you can just use the dot operator. After this, we have this warning right here. If we scroll over it, you can see it says unknown global tree. This is a spelling or capitalization issue. We have a variable here called the tree with a lowercase t. There is a difference between the capital and lowercase t. So we need to change this to tree. Uh, but then after this, you'll see that when we run the code and at the bottom, you can see C frame is not a valid member of model workspace.pine space tree. So there's still an issue with this code. And if we click on the script right here or the output uh, while the game is running, it takes us to this line 13 in the script and we can figure out what's wrong with our code from here. Again, it says C frame is not a valid member of model 
workspace.pine space tree. So if we go to the workspace, look at the model and the properties, you can see C frame is not a property of any model. So the issue here is that a model doesn't have a C frame property. So to change this, to fix this, we do primary part uh, C frame. And then we won't have any issue when we run this code. I'll save the changes, run it. And as you can see, the C frame is printed here, but we still have one more issue to fix, one more uh, warning or error. This might be the error that I see most often, and it's the attempt to index nil with name or with something. So here, in this case, I'm attempting to index player with name, but the output is saying that I'm attempting to index nil with name. And the reason for that is player is actually nil when the code executes, which means that up here, when I set the player variable equal to game.players.local player, this is returning nil. So player is equal to nil when I execute this script. So just to reemphasize, nil is the equivalent to nothing in Lua at least. So in this case, player is nothing. And the reason for that is that we're in a regular script and local player is only something in a local script. So in this case, player doesn't exist. So when we attempt to index player with name, we're actually just indexing nil with name. To fix this, we'd wanna either put this in a local script or change how we're accessing whatever player we're attempting to access here. To clarify the terminology of index, when you do local part equals game dot workspace dot part, for example, what you're actually doing is you're indexing game for workspace and you're indexing workspace for part. So you're looking inside of game for workspace, you're looking inside of workspace for part, that's what the dot operator does. So the index terminology is just another word for you know looking inside of for that property or for the object. So we're looking inside of player for the property name and we're not finding it because nil does not have any properties, it doesn't exist. Now I'm gonna show you what you should do if you encounter a bug in your code that you just can't figure out on your own. So this is what the script that I'm gonna show you should do. It should produce these blocks like this, uh, these GUI frames in increasing size and moving from left to right, but it doesn't. So this is the broken code right here. And I'm gonna show you what you should do to ask a question about how you should fix this code. The first thing that you wanna do is take a screenshot of where the script is in the workspace. So to do that, I do the Windows Shift S and then I'll just drag over here so this will take a screenshot. And as you can see, I have a screenshot of where the code is. So this is local script right here. This is the script that I'm writing and that has the issue. All right, and it's inside of screen GUI instead of starter GUI. This lets people understand the context of the script because when you use something such as script.parent, people need to understand where the script is because sometimes you're using too many parents or too few parents. And that's actually the case with this script because we have one too many parents. So I'm gonna actually delete this right there. So that fixes the number of parents. Uh, so taking a screenshot and then, uh, so I'm going to copy this and in the Discord, I'll go to scripting questions, go to script, scripting questions and then paste the message and you can go ahead and upload the image. And then right after that, you can add your code so go back to your code, copy and paste your code, go to the Discord, I'll just cancel it so I don't actually send this, and copy and paste your code, and before, what you wanna do is add three back ticks, that's on the top of your keyboard, at the top left, type Lua, space, paste your code in, and then add three more back ticks. This will format your code, so it's in the code block, just as you see right here, that Vainglory has posted. And then after that, describe the issue that you're having with your code. So the issue that you'd have if you executed the original code, which was, you know, script that parent, that parent as well here, is that nothing shows up, just nothing happens. And then what you also want to do is post about any warnings you get. That'll help increase or speed up the process. So if we go back to this code, you can see that we have a warning and you could either copy and paste or take a screenshot like this or you could just write out the, the warning. What you wanna do is send the message with this warning, or you could type this out, you know, it's warning 14. After that, you can just go ahead, send all that information, the screenshot of where the code is, the code itself, any warnings you're getting, and then also if you're getting any 
output. Uh, this is output from a different script. But if you're getting any errors from the script that in question, you want to go ahead and post a screenshot of those or the text that you're getting as well. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. Like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe for more in the future. And if this video didn't help you fix your errors, comment your errors below and join the Discord. I'll definitely help you out in the comments or people in the Discord will help you.